Metasploit Pro offers a very simple point-and-click approach to the entire penetration testing process. To get started, we'll click New Project, and then we'll enter a project name and then an IP range for our target network. And then click Create Project. Then the first thing that we want to do is perform a discovery on our target network. So under Discovery, click Scan. Verify the target IP addresses. And then several different advanced options that we can configure. In our case, we'll just go with the default options and then we'll click Launch Scan. And what this will do is in the background, it'll perform several different techniques to attempt to identify all live systems on the network and also identify services and operating systems running on those hosts. Once that's finished, we'll click our project name at the top to return to our dashboard. And then we'll see a graphical display of some of the information that was discovered during that scan. The next thing that we want to do is attempt to identify vulnerabilities on our target network. Rapid7 actually has Nexpose, their vulnerability scanner, fully integrated into Metasploit Pro. We can access it just by clicking this button. However, because we already performed vulnerability scans with Nessus, we'll use the import function. So we'll switch over to our Nessus scanner and then look at our results, and then click Export Results. Then choose our export format of Nessus, then click Export, and Save File. Then return to Metasploit Pro and click the Import button under Discovery. Then click Browse, and choose your Nessus export file. Then click Import Data. Once completed, return once again to your dashboard. And now we're ready to begin exploitation. So under the penetration box, you have options for either brute forcing different services on the network, or you can choose Exploit. We'll click the Exploit button. And here we can perform exploitation against multiple targets at one time. However, for the simplicity of this demonstration, I'll restrict it to just one target. We can also define the minimum reliability rating. Now, reliability rating is basically going to specify to what extent the exploit is safe to run on a production system and indicate whether it's likely to fail or crash the target system or applications running on it. Once we've set that, we can click Exploit to start. And Metasploit Pro will then attempt to run any exploits that it has available for the target system. Here we see that exploitation of our target was successful and we now have two sessions opened. We can access those sessions by clicking Sessions at the top of the screen. And here we now have both an interpreter and a standard shell on our target system. If we click that session, we can see several different available actions for us. We'll start by collecting system data. To collect our system data, we'll select our active sessions and then click the button at the bottom. And this will begin to gather all kinds of information from the target system to include password files, sensitive files, and cryptography keys, and all kinds of other information. If we click back on our session, we can see that that information has now been populated in the stored data and files. We can also click Access File System, and we can navigate through the entire file system of the target. We can also click on any directory to browse through those directories and subdirectories. If we return to our session once again, we can also launch a command shell against the target system. We can then interact with the target system. We'll use change directory and change it to the root directory, and then ls to verify that we do have interaction with the target system. So as you can see, Metasploit Pro is a very powerful automated tool that can be used to streamline your entire penetration testing process.